Thanks so much, guys. We are here at Eisenhower Park for a veterans picnic. If you look behind me here, you see hundreds of veterans scattered across Field 6 here at Eisenhower Park. And that is thanks to Nassau County Executive Laura Curran, who, instead of campaigning this weekend for an election that's under 10 days away, she is giving back to veterans. Oh, Nassau County Executive Laura Curran held a veterans picnic today to honor veterans. We want to make sure that we are repaying as best we can for them putting themselves on the line to protect our freedoms and also to honor our current service members around the world protecting our freedoms now. The event featured free food and entertainment. But the biggest moments were the stories that were being shared. The crowd of hundreds included World War II veterans. Now what it may be, no matter where it was, but if you put the uniform on to serve your country, uh, you can't do any more than that as expressed by the speakers here this afternoon. And even celebrities popped up to share their family ties to military service. ABC radio host Sid Rosenberg talked about his uncle Norman who served. He'd be crying. He'd be so proud. Again, he served in World War II. It was all of those news clips at movie theaters and uh, won just about every award presented to a serviceman back then. And Today was not only about honoring veterans, but shedding light on what Long Islanders can do to support them. For the veterans in this country and those who follow this, there's still a need for, this, for the support for them and their families to make sure that they're compensated for the military service. And Walter Roller says that serving is a pretty good feeling. When you look back and see people that you helped, that's important too. For WRHU News, I'm Yao Bonsu. And guys, as you saw there, veterans are enjoying free food, music, a bunch of other entertainment, as well as telling stories about how they served in Afghanistan, Iraq, as well as various places across the globe. And this is just the start of what should be a long line of efforts from Nassau County to commemorate and honor veterans. Reporting from Eisenhower Park, Yao Bonsu, WRHU News.